Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 48 for the year 2015, stipulating the reformation of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, the BIPD's Board of Trustees. The BIPD's Board of Trustees has been restructured under the chairmanship of Ali Mohammed Al Rumehi, with Dr. May Salman Al Otebi as vice chairperson. Eight more members have been appointed with a membership term of four years. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 70 for this year, stipulating the structure of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, said Bahraini Women's Day, eight years after its launch, has become a spectacular national event on the national occasions agenda, celebrated in the Kingdom of Bahrain each year. The special day is considered a good opportunity to consolidate the progress of women in the country, and the focus this year is on the advancement of Bahraini women in the financial and banking sectors in order to showcase their ongoing success and record their accomplishments over the last 50 years. Her Royal Highness emphasized that Bahraini Women's Day this year was dedicated to celebrating working women in the financial and banking sector in line with the historical accomplishments achieved by women in this sector and their capacity to effectively con contribute in solidifying Bahrain's role as a leading regional and international financial hub. On this occasion, Her Royal Highness offered her congratulations to His Majesty the King, affirming that if it had not been for the royal patronage and wise directives of His Majesty, women could not have attained top decision-making positions or obtained quality opportunities made available to them in the new field of work, in which they were able to prove their merit and continue to progress. Her Royal Highness has affirmed the Council's constant keenness to support all state institutions in fulfilling their constitutional obligations towards the participation of Bahraini women and supporting their numerous developmental roles in this aspect. Her Royal Highness appreciated the efforts of the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. She also congratulated the Bahraini community on this national occasion, which has been dedicated to Bahraini women in all fields, especially as Bahrain Women's Day is celebrated ahead of National Day, adding that Bahraini Women's Day celebration is a great boost for the morale of women as we celebrate their accomplishments everywhere at all times. Her Royal Highness praised the stance of Bahraini women and their much appreciated keenness and initiative to highlight the status of Bahraini women and their drive to achieve the position they deserve in joint nation building process. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, patronized today the Bahraini Women's Day celebration under the theme Bahraini Working Women in the Financial and Banking Sector at Bahrain Bourse. Her Royal Highness affirmed the Council's constant keenness in supporting all state institutions to fulfill their constitutional obligations towards the participation of Bahraini women and supporting their numerous developmental roles in various fields. She held this national event, which this year sheds light on the role of Bahraini women in the banking and finance sectors, and emphasised that the Bahraini Women's Day this year has been dedicated to celebrating working women in the financial and banking sector, in line with the historical accomplishments achieved achieved by women in this sector and their capacity to effectively contribute in solidifying Bahrain's role as a leading regional and international financial hub. On this occasion, Her Royal Highness expressed her congratulations to His Majesty the King and hailed His Majesty's constant support to Bahraini women in various fields. Princess Sibika also affirmed the SCW's support of women empowerment in line with the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the significant support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. She also expressed her Congratulations to Bahraini society on this national occasion, hailing Bahraini men's remarkable support to Bahraini women in the participation of the development process in the kingdom. 
During the ceremony, Her Royal Highness honoured Bahraini working women in the banking and financial field. The Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Al Miraj, delivered a speech in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa for her constant support to Bahraini women. Bahrain has perennially been at the vanguard of advancing women's status and contribution to society in the Gulf region, tracing back to the introduction of the first public girls' school in 1928. Today's Bahraini women are very highly educated, routinely making up over half of all high school and university graduates. And yet there remains a gap when it comes to women's participation in the workforce, particularly at the highest levels. And so the Supreme Council of Women seeks to analyze and propose strategies to deal with this phenomenon. To this end, it focuses on one particular industry each year, and this year the spotlight has been on women in banking and finance. We are really proud of what we discover year after year when we focus on a certain theme, and we see um, a lot of accomplishments that women has made so far, uh, in addition to finding some obstacles, in addition to finding some challenges that we would like to uh, overcome and help uh, Bahraini women and their institutions to put the right strategies in order to uh, keep it going and keep the momentum of uh, women in progress in Bahrain. The banking and finance sector is one of the most important in Bahrain, with well over 400 institutions registered in the kingdom, attracting levels of investment well over the global average. We are proud that these sectors uh, 
uh, give us the diversity for Bahrain economy and uh, has been always a very dynamic sector. Uh, Bahraini women uh, comprise uh, 36% in 2014, 2015 they are 35% of the Bahrainis working in this sector and 26% of the total workforce in this sector. So this in its own is evidence of uh, the importance of the Bahraini women's role. Uh, not only that, uh, they have also uh, achieved decision-making positions in this sector and the important thing that uh, there is sustainability, that it's continuous and new generations are coming in and acquiring higher positions. This year, the Supreme Council of Women has been working closely with the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, to research the status of women in the sector and develop appropriate mechanisms towards ongoing progress in order to benefit women and the economy as a whole. A very uh, vibrant, dynamic, uh, uh, forward-looking, with positive vibes, uh, ladies working in the sector. And this has given me a lot of uh, boost and uh, confidence that our sector in the future will have uh, a continuation of uh, uh, good leaders. And for that reason, uh, we have the duty in the central bank to ensure that we prepare the, the right ecosystem for these young women to accelerate and progress in their career. On behalf of all the news team at Bahrain Television and myself, Danielle Deporto, happy Bahrain Women's Day. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, and President of Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his congratulations to Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sibika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day, hailing Princess Sibika's remarkable support to Bahraini women in various fields. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed the SCYS's support to Bahraini women on all levels for their remarkable contribution in the development process of the kingdom and hailed the national occasion which reflects Bahrain women's contributions in various fields, urging them to exert further efforts to achieve the best for the kingdom and its citizens. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today the weekly meeting in which he delivered a speech regarding Bahraini Women's Day, praising the role of efforts of women in contributing to the country's progress. The Council approved a decree law regarding protecting society from terrorism. The issuing a statement on the occasion of Bahrain's Women's Day and a suggestion regarding compensating citizens affected by brain. The Council also approved a report by the Financial and Economic Committee regarding the double taxation agreement between Bahrain and Cyprus and another report by the Public Utilities Commission regarding the air services agreement between the same countries. The meeting then approved a report by the Services Committee on the rehabilitation of people with special needs. Deputised by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's advisor Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa attended the graduation ceremony of the ninth bachelor's degree group of the Arab Open University of Bahrain. 193 students graduated from business, information technology and computer science colleges. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa conveyed the greetings of the Prime Minister to the graduates and their families, wishing them continued success. He stressed that the education sector is at the top of the government's priorities due to the Prime Minister's belief in the importance of investing in human resources to enable effective participation in the co comprehensive development process witnessed by the Kingdom in all fields. The Prime Minister's advisor highlighted the role of private educational institutions in supporting the government's efforts and praised the contribution of Arab Open University of Bahrain to education field. Under the auspices of the Energy Minister, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, Bahrain inaugurated the third Arab Forum on Prospects of Generating Electricity and Desalinating Seawater with Nuclear Energy. 
the event is organized by the Arab Atomic Energy Agency, the AAEA, in cooperation with the General Secretariat of the Arab League's Arab Ministerial Council for Electricity and the support of the Supreme Council for Environment, the SCE. The Energy Minister highlighted the available options for generating electricity and desalinating seawater with nuclear energy. He asserted nuclear energy was harmless, wouldn't lead to global warming, and was also cheaper than other energy sources. He said water and electricity were facing an increasing demand, while there was a shortage in natural resources, especially oil and gas, requiring strategic planning to maintain energy for the future. The minister affirmed that the forum is considered an opportunity to debate previously raised issues pertaining to priorities and fears related to nuclear power programs in Arab countries, would conduct a comprehensive study, encourage Arab cooperation to enhance human and financial resources, and spread awareness regarding the safety of nuclear stations. And with that, it's time to hand you over to Mohammed with the latest in business news. Good evening, Mohammed. Good evening, Mary Claire. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain has been awarded the top rank by the ITU for Information Technology and Telecommunications Development. Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal Mohammed, appraised the important role of Bahrain in the ICT sector to enable sustainable economic growth and meet the country's current and future needs. The Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,224.67 points, a decrease of 7.9 points below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, investments, insurance, services, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, representing 65% of total shares traded. 56 transactions took place with a volume of 1,990,637 shares, worth 266,879 Bahraini dinars.